John Morant has been banned from the NBA. After being caught with a modded Nerf gun in the locker room, he will now be taking his talents to the NFL. It's a parade inside my city. John Morant is starting his NFL career as a 12 overall quarterback. We are racing Patrick Mahomes to a Super Bowl and the loser retires. Hey, yo, what the fuck? And Patrick Mahomes is already at 99 overall. We gotta get Ja higher than a 12. To help us upgrade Ja, we do have these three mystery wheels, but we'll talk about those later. In week number one, we are going against the New York Giants. I don't know why, but I have a good feeling about Ja at quarterback. Step up in the pocket, throws a dime to the... To the defense okay we might be down 14 but that's nothing we got this jaw dropping back in the pocket gets hit as he throws another interception i'm about to put him on a poster come here oh not only did we lose this game jaw was only able to win one game the entire season he also threw 54 interceptions and guess who made the playoffs yep the Kansas City Chiefs. And if Patrick Mahomes wins this Super Bowl right now, we have to retire already. The least I can do is give Jaw his upgrades. Jaw only got one win this season, but when we add that to his 12 touchdowns, we have 13 upgrade points to use on the mystery wheels. Oh, how the f did John Morant throw 54 interceptions? He's so trash. No, seriously, what the fuck? The normal wheel costs three upgrade points. The epic wheel costs 10 and the legendary wheel costs 20. So we're going to go ahead and cash out on one normal spin and one epic spin. We have a lot of upgrades on this normal wheel that could help John Morant a lot. All of his throwing ratings are like 40 and we get 66 deep accuracy. That's actually really good. Now on the epic wheel, y'all see that the ratings are a lot higher, a lot better. We could even get star dev. So there's a lot of things we want and 77 short accuracy. Okay, our passing rating is getting better, but none of these upgrades will matter if the Chiefs win the Super Bowl. So we're just gonna sim and hope that the Texans beat them. But the Chiefs move on after beating the Texans 31 to 24, and now they play the Bills. If the Chiefs win the Super Bowl in year number one, Josh's career is over. But shout out to Bills Mafia because they knock out the Chiefs. Oh yeah, we jumping off this table. Ooh, hey, hey, hey. And that means we get to see what John Morant's going to do with these new upgrades. He is now a 24 overall. Yep, a 24 overall quarterback. I don't know how we're going to win any games. At the end of each season, I do get to make one trade, and I tried to trade Derrick Henry. Now, I looked through every single possibility to see what could really help John Morant, and this is my trade. We did have to give up two second-round picks in Derrick Henry, but now we have two superstar wide receivers to pair with John Morant, and we do have a rookie running back who's already a 79 overall in hidden. Even with all of the upgrades and trades we made, John ja in year number two was only able to get two wins now statistically he looked a lot better he threw for 16 touchdowns almost 3,000 yards and he also had one rushing touchdown when we add his 17 touchdowns to his two wins John Morant gets 19 upgrade points which we are going to cash out on three normal wheel spins and one epic wheel spin now we're gonna start out with the normal wheel spins and we get three of these keep in mind three is gonna be a lot this is gonna boost John up a lot and we get throw under pressure 64 i mean usually i wouldn't be happy about that but right now i am because cha is literally a 24 overall so anything we get i'm gonna be happy with 66 medium accuracy okay that's good all we need is like i don't know what else i want star dev maybe okay throw on the run 71 okay bro that i'm actually happy with that but now this spin right here is career changing there's a lot of really really good upgrades we could even get superstar dev and we almost get it oh okay 85 throw power i can't be mad at that that's gonna help john morant so much and with all of those upgrades John Morant became a 61 overall and right before i thought this was gonna be his breakout season the chiefs made it to the super bowl our career is in the hands of the giants how are the giants gonna beat the chiefs hey man we're just gonna have to see can the okay the giants have a three-point lead a 10-point lead okay seven to ten 17 okay a 10-point lead a three-point lead come on giants come on let's go okay please 
Okay. Oh no, we're losing. We're losing. Yes, we're winning. We're winning. Come on, Giants. Please. Come on. Let's go. There's no way. The Giants beat the Chiefs. And John Morant's career is still alive. We get another season. Thank you. Thank you, Chiefs. Thank you, Daniel Jones. Oh my God. Shout out to Danny Dimes. He literally just saved our career. But before we get into this next season, we do have one trade to make. And the Titans front office drafted a quarterback. Like, no, you are not getting in the way of Jaws breakout season. E. Hantley. Like, what kind of a name is that? Yeah, pack your bags, buddy. Hantley, between me and you, bro, you are the future. You are an elite quarterback. You are definitely better than Jaws. I mean... Hey, yo, what are you doing here? Hey, cut the voiceover. We had to get Henley out of here, so we're looking for every single trade. Like, I'm coming up with trades. I'm looking at trade offers. I kind of want a tight end, maybe another wide receiver in the mix. And this is the trade that I'm going to end up accepting from the Baltimore Ravens. We get 89 overall Mike Evans and 77 Austin Hooper. And this is what the Jama Ranch show is looking like. We got Mike Evans. We got two superstar wide receivers. We got Austin Hooper. We got Lloyd at running back. But our defense is shit. I mean, this is probably top 10 most ugly things I've ever seen in my life. I mean, just look at it. <sighs> and this team was only able to get four wins. But on the bright side, the Chiefs got knocked out of the playoffs in the first round. And statistically, John Morant had one of his best seasons. 23 touchdowns and almost 4,000 passing yards. He also had four rushing touchdowns. And when we add his 27 touchdowns to his four wins, we get 31 upgrade points. For the first time in this video, we have enough to get a legendary wheel spin. And I'm gonna go for it. Those do cost 20 upgrade points. So we have 11 left to use on one epic wheel spin. And that's what we're gonna start out with, the epic wheel. I mean, this has done us justice so far, but you already know I'm looking at that superstar, Devin. We're gonna get it. No way. That is exactly what we needed coming into this legendary wheel spin. And as you can see, there is X Factor. All of the ratings are 90s. And we are going to get oh, 91 medium accuracy. Okay, I am very happy with our wheel spins this season. And after all of those upgrades, John Morant is a 70 overall superstar quarterback. But our team is completely different. For example, look at Mike Evans. His X Factor, completely gone. St. Brown didn't even get re-signed. Neither did Hooper. And now we only have one trade to try to fix all of this. In my opinion, I think that our biggest positional need is tight end. So I'm looking at every single tight end in the league. And I came across Devin Wheeler, a 79 overall X Factor. He's only 23 years old, and all they want are a second, a third, and a seventh round pick. And we're adding a X Factor tight end to this team. I think that we got ourselves a steal of a trade. Let me know in the comments if you guys would have pulled the trigger on that one. But I think this is perfect. We had a generational tight end to this team and it's time to see how we're gonna do man every time i sim it gives me anxiety because i don't know what our record is gonna look like please be good let's go no way did we go eight and nine we're in the playoffs we play the jags hold up we gotta see how jaw did this season because there's no way we made the playoffs. jaw threw 38 touchdowns and only nine interceptions what let's see how many rushing touchdowns he had four rushing touchdowns too we just got so many upgrade points for Jaw. When we add his 42 total touchdowns on the season with his nine wins, we have 51 upgrade points. And we're gonna spend those on two legendary wheel spins in one epic wheel spin. And Jaw's gonna get so many upgrades before the playoffs. We have two of these legendary wheel spins and we almost got X Factor, but we get 90 five throw power let me know which of these ratings you would want if you were a quarterback and we're gonna get an x factor okay so now we get 95 throw power plus the x factor and we have one last wheel spin this epic wheel does have some really good upgrades and we're gonna get 80 throw under pressure that's actually a very solid upgrade this is john morant before these new upgrades and this is him after we have made john morant a legitimate quarterback but is it enough to win in the playoffs? Our first matchup is against the Jaguars. But you guys see that number one seed, the Kansas City Chiefs, led by our biggest op, 
Patty Mahomes. Now, let, let me not get too ahead of myself. Let's focus on the Jaguars, and we'll worry about them Chiefs later. We went ahead and started this game with a field goal, and this Jaguars offense is terrifying. They got a good wide receiver core and Trevor Lawrence at quarterback, and we know a lot about Trev Trev, man. We had a video exclusively about him on the channel. If y'all haven't seen that, go peep it. But A.J. Dillon stiff arms his way into the end zone, and the Jaguars take the lead. Now, John, this offense has got to answer if we want to win this game. We got to score some touchdowns. No more field goals from us. There is a minute and 42 seconds left before halftime. And John Morant is putting together quite the drive. We got to see how clutch John Morant is. And he just got all day in the pocket. Oh, he hits someone on the sideline. And that's a first down. He gets out of bounds. That will stop the clock. And okay, I incompletion. That's all right. So far this game, we are heavily relying on Jaw's arm, and he is delivering another first down. First and ten on the 18-yard line, and they send a screamer, a blitz, and John Morantz gets sacked. We gotta call a timeout. And so far, our O-line has been playing so good this game, but they are falling apart right now on these last two plays. John Moran, third and 17, gets a completion. Breaks a tackle, okay. And we're gonna have to settle for a field goal before time expires, and it is six to seven. Somehow the Jaguars got pinned on their one yard line, and our defense came up with a safety, and now we get the ball back with a one point lead, and John Morant has to capitalize on this. So far this game, John Morant has played really well. He's thrown the ball with pinpoint accuracy to all of our wide receivers, our tight ends, and look at that. That's a touchdown. Come on. Let's go. John Morant, his first touchdown in the playoffs. And you love to see it, man. And after that touchdown, it was pretty much game over. Our defense played amazing. Our offense played amazing. And we're sending Trev Trev home in the playoffs. And we are moving on. It's about that time where we get to see who we're playing next. And we're playing against the Bengals. And the Chiefs are playing the Ravens. Okay, this is getting interesting. So if we win this game, we might have to play the Chiefs or the Ravens. But first, we got to get through Joe Shiesty and this stacked Bengals team. And you guys already see in their first drive, they are just running down the field. And they easily get a touchdown. And John Morant and the Titans have to answer. We start our drive with a couple of small runs. But out of nowhere, we string together two huge pass plays to pin us in the red zone. But Money Man Morant cashes out in the red zone, gets a completion for a touchdown. And this game's tied up. So far in the playoffs, our offense has looked dominant. But our defense is what we got to worry about. Right when I thought Joe Burrow was going to tear our defense apart and get another touchdown, our defense holds him to a field goal. However, our offense couldn't capitalize on that opportunity, and we give the ball back to the Bengals. They kick a field goal, and it is a six-point game. We really have to score on this drive to stay in this game. Lloyd with a nice spin. It is second and five with a minute and 30 seconds remaining. Jaw takes a huge sack, and that is exactly what we did not need. We're going to hand it off to Lloyd on 30-13, and he picks it up. What? Lloyd just put the team on his back on 3rd and 13 and picked up the first down. Mike Evans almost gets a first down. There's 56 seconds left. We're going to hit Wheeler and he drops it. Wheeler is an X factor tight end. He should not be dropping passes like that in the open field. Those are the types of plays that are going to ruin us. And John Moran throws, hits as he throws it, it's picked off. Oh no, what happened? We literally had a good drive going and then it just crumbles beneath our feet. We give the Bengals the ball with 44 seconds left and they're in the red zone and they already have a six point lead. Please defense, we need to turn over anything. They're gonna pick up a first down, 37 seconds remaining. And this Bengals offense is looking like they are not gonna be stopped. 18 seconds left, Joe Burrow in the red zone. That's a first down, 13 seconds remaining, no timeouts. We're going to get a sack. And that might that might that might go into halftime. They Wait, what? It said that they called a timeout, but the Bengals had no timeouts and we're going into halftime. We just got so lucky. My heart is beating out of my chest because if the Bengals score right there, I think we're out of this game. We start the third quarter kicking a field goal and it is a three point game. All we need is one stop. Joe Burrow hits his tight end in the open field for a couple of yards. Hand off to their running back, Joe Mixon, but we got a tackle for loss. 
Third and four. This is huge. If we could stop him right here. But Joe Burrow hits the open man on the sideline, and that's a first down. They're going to hand it off to Joe Mixon, and we're going to tackle him for a short gain. Hand it off to him again. Another tackle, and one more. Third and four. And we're going to get him short of the first down, and they have to punt it. There is less than two minutes remaining, so this is a, a minute and 44 second drill by John Morant in this offense. And this whole entire playoffs, John Morant has had the pressure and the weight on his shoulders, but he's been able to deliver in every single game. Hopefully, he can do it again. We have no timeouts. We're going to hit a, a wide receiver on the right sideline, but we didn't get out of bounds, so the time's still going. Another pass, and the time's still going. We need to get out of bounds. John Moran, it hits Wheeler in the middle of the field on the, on the I think that's the 10 yard line. 23 seconds left. John Moran. Okay, there's 19 seconds left. We have no timeouts. Hurry up, hurry up. 10 seconds. John Moran, hike the ball. Please, please, touchdown. Come on. This is it. Four seconds. Touchdown. John Moran just put together the craziest drive I have ever seen. No timeouts. Clutches up, four seconds remaining, and we are going to send Joe Burrow home in the playoffs. John Morant's got that ice in his veins, bro. This is the stuff you see in movies. I don't understand how we won that game, but now we are facing off against our biggest op, Patrick Mahomes. The six seed Titans versus the one seed Chiefs. Oh my gosh! The Chiefs start out with the ball and they go down and put seven on the board. And again, the pressure is on jaw every single game. We're starting from behind, but somehow we come up on top. And in our first play, John Morant takes a huge sack on second and four. It is third and 13. We all know how good the Chiefs are at Madden. Their defense, their offense is so good. John Morant has to throw it away on third and 13. And that forces us to punt the Chiefs the ball again. And giving Patrick Mahomes the ball with a seven-point lead is exactly what we don't need. This Chiefs team went 14-3 and this season, and you are seeing why. Our defense is truly helpless against this Chiefs offense. They can literally do whatever they want. Our defense needed a breather, and we got it as the first quarter ends. Second and seven, Patrick Mahomes throws the ball away. Third and seven, now is our chance for our defense to get off the field. We tip the pass and the Chiefs have to punt. Our defense deserves all the glory right now because they prevailed even when I felt like our back was against the wall. And now John Moran gets to take the field for the second time this game. We need our offense and jaw to take over this game. We need control back. John Moran throws a deep ball and it's dropped by Wheeler. Second and 10, John Morant, he's gonna hit Mike Evans for the first down. And Mike Evans has been that veteran presence that we need, a reliable wide receiver. And there's Trey Burks getting a completion. We're going to hand it off to Lloyd. And Lloyd breaking a couple tackles for a first down. And this offense is moving. But we throw an interception. And right when things go good, they go bad. The Chiefs are in the red zone on the 20-yard line. What just happened? It seems like we're giving Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs this game on a silver platter. Just letting them take it. We got to get a stop right here. First and goal on the nine-yard line. Patrick Mahomes rolls to the left. He's going to get a huge pickup, and he's on the one-yard line. Second and goal. Patrick Mahomes going to do a little handoff. We're going to get a tackle for a loss. Huge play by our defense. Third and goal. Patrick Mahomes gets sacked a fumble, but they pick it up. And they're forced to kick a field goal. Our defense is saving this game. With this field goal, the Chiefs still do have a 10-point lead, which is a deficit. That's a two-score game. And if this offense couldn't score before, how are they going to score now? But Traylon Burks gets a huge completion. Incompletion by John Moran. Second and 10. A huge completion to Mike Evans. And we are on the 25-yard line in the red zone. John Morant, you have to capitalize. We're going to hit Wheeler on a little slant for a first down. And there is a minute remaining before halftime. We have to score right now. John Morant drops back in the pocket. A three-man rush sent by the Chiefs. We have all day to make a good throw. And John Morant, 52 is going to get the sack. And there's 46 seconds remaining. We got to call a timeout. John Morant in the pocket hits Wheeler. Wheeler's going to pick up a lot of yards, a chunk of yardage, basically everything we lost. Third and two on the six-yard line. 
22 seconds remaining and we cannot settle for a field goal John Morant is gonna hit someone on a slant and Williams with the completion for the touchdown and it is a three-point game that's exactly what we needed from John in this offense and Patrick Mahomes you can tell we back in this game but that was very short-lived because in our first drive to start the third quarter we punted the Chiefs the ball but they missed a 33 yard field goal and that gives this offense a second chance and we do nothing but run the ball and we're left with a third and 11 John Morant you gotta do something you gotta be great right now John Morant throws to Williams across the field and he's too fast at 98 speed gets us the touchdown and we got a lead against the Chiefs and this Titans team does not give up and what is this camera angle why are we in Williams's cheeks right now what 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 even was that forget it man I'm not letting that ruin our moment John Morant throws an absolute dime the Chiefs could not answer as we get a three and out and they have to punt us the ball on fourth and one and our first play of the drive is a huge penalty given up by the Chiefs. And this offense has found their way back in the red zone. And it's time for this Titans team to put the final nail in the Chiefs coffin. Lloyd's going to pick up a first down. And it's looking like the Titans might win this game with a touchdown here. John Moran throws. Intercepted. No way did he just throw an interception. Now the Chiefs have a chance to go down the field and potentially take this game away from John Morant. I don't know what he was thinking when he threw that ball. This rivalry, this game between Patrick Mahomes and John Morant has me at the edge of my seat. It's just unpredictable after unpredictable thing. Like I was 100% certain that John Morant was gonna end that drive, send the Chiefs home, but here we are on third down. If the defense gets a stop, and they do, they tackle him. But they say he got it. I don't know how Pacheco got that first down. Someone needs to throw a challenge flag, please. Because I, I was watching that and he did not cross the yellow line. But Patrick Mahomes trying to fight for a first down. Gets tackled second and one. There's a minute and 30 seconds remaining. This game is going to come down to the wire. John Moran's career on the line. Patrick Mahomes throws a deep ball. Intercepted. Why would he throw that? Back-to-back -back interceptions by John Moran and Patrick Mahomes. And the Tennessee Titans are going to upset the Chiefs in the playoffs and move on to the Super Bowl. 14 to 10. I, I am shot. I don't. What just happened? No one was expecting John Moran to make the Super Bowl. I mean, when this video started, he was at 12 overall. But here we are. The Tennessee Titans, a six seed versus the number one seed Bears. And this Bears team is stacked. They went 14-3 this season. 85 overall offense. 87 overall defense. This is going to be a battle. Now, now you watching this video, listen to me for like five seconds before we get into the Super Bowl. Listen, y'all have been on my ass about what rookie I'm playing in rookie. I'm playing in this game mode. Listen, my skill level is all Madden. For the rest of my videos, it will forever be all Madden because y'all are, oh my gosh, y'all every video. The Bears start off the Super Bowl with a touchdown. And this is my first time being able to use John Moran and Madden since... He was a 12 overall and mm, Ja, come on, man. We got to focus up. We got, we're not going to win a Super Bowl if you're playing like this. Okay, yeah. Use your legs. Okay, cool little AR game. Throughout this video, I don't know if you guys did notice or not, but I used all of Ja's like, attributes like speed, jumping, athleticism, acceleration, stamina. All that's from his 2K my player build i just put it in madden but any football-esque rating like throw power accuracy throwing the ball anything like that was a 40 and throughout this season we have seen jaw become one of the better quarterbacks in the nfl but now is the time we have to prove it we have to prove it on the biggest stage the super bowl we're dropping back on third and six we're gonna hit williams that throw was a little bit behind him that was a little bit scary but we pick up the first down john moran rolling to the right and an incompletion and so far this game jaw is three for 11 it is not looking pretty for us you would hate to see jaw morant make it this far and crumble under pressure he drops back and hits mike evans for the first down 
A beautiful throw by John Moran. My hands are sweating with the remote right now. We're gonna roll right. I gotta throw it away. I gotta throw it away. Can't take a sack on first down. That would have hurt our momentum so much. We're rolling right once again. Wheeler's wide open. We're gonna hit him for the first down. That was a really good play. No need to risk throwing an interception when you got Lloyd in the backfield. An easy play call, an easy touchdown. And Lloyd has become one of my favorite players on this team. Our defense comes up in the clutch and gets us a stop. And now we have the ball with a minute and 47 seconds remaining in the second quarter. And scoring before halftime would put us in the perfect situation. Williams has been our favorite target. And there he is, beats the defender on the left side. And he is just too fast. Williams has been one of our primary targets all game and he's just securing every ball we throw him hey yo the bears send the pressure jumper in hit as he throws wheeler comes down with it breaks a tackle and gets four yards that was scary one thing about this team is we have a lot of weapons we have built a pretty solid offense around John ja Morant and it has shown in this game and Williams comes down with another one and again that speed he is just too fast and just like that Ja Morant throws his first touchdown into the Super Bowl I never thought I would be saying that we give the Bears the ball with a minute and they scored they scored with less than a minute on the clock and we're just gonna run it I don't want to risk a pick and that's gonna bring us into halftime and so far this game we are dominating but it doesn't feel like it the Bears get the ball to start the third quarter and they kick a field goal and we are down by three if you guys have seen my videos in the past you know that I am the least clutch Madden player ever I always screw things up we're gonna try to hit Jamison Williams down the field and he drops it and on third and seven we have to pass the ball John Moran drops back in the pocket it's tipped and intercepted I told you I'm the least clutch Madden player to ever play this game I swear and now we give the Bears the ball back Ah, oh, and of course they score. So now we're down by 10 in the third quarter with about a minute and 50 seconds remaining. John Moran going to use those legs and pick up a first down. That 93 speed comes in handy when you're scared to throw the ball. I'm definitely scared to throw the ball. Did y'all see Jaw in the first half? Yeah, no, I'm good. Let me get my first down. We can't run like that all game, especially in this situation. Third and 10, John Moran rolling to the right. Williams is wide open. What is that throw? How did he catch it? Williams just came back and caught that. That throw was worse than anything my grandma could have tossed. And we are in the red zone. Lloyd a little screen. And oh my gosh. I'm still in awe on how Williams caught that. But Lloyd is going to punch it in. And we are still down by three. But we bring us closer and closer to winning this Super Bowl. We just need to stop. And our defense gets it. Our defense gets us the stop that we need. But we are on the three yard line. We need to get out of here. I do not want to be here. Let me run the ball with Lloyd. The intensity is building and Lloyd's breaking free. Almost getting a first down eight yard gain for him. And now we can kind of pass the ball. We're looking for an opening and there is Williams. Williams has been outrunning every single cornerback that has lined up against him. And I'm not going to lie right now. If I had to put in my vote, Williams has been the player of the game. But Lloyd, again, the most reliable running back I have ever used. Second and inches, jaw rolling to the right. We're going to hit Mike Evans for a huge completion. And there is three minutes remaining. I can hear the clock ticking in my head because I know if we give the Bears the ball back with too much time, that could be the end of the game. But that's not going to hold me back from scoring. Devin Wheeler is wide open and we're going to get the touchdown. But did we give the Bears too much time i know the team's celebrating after that touchdown to take the lead but there is still two minutes and 30 seconds remaining all we can do is hope and pray that our defense can stop the bears and they don't the bears score and we are down by three moments like these make champions if john morant wants to solidify himself in the nfl he has to win this game. We're starting this drive with the pass to Devin Wheeler on the left side of the field, and he has been an amazing addition to this team. John Moran looking downfield for Jamison Williams, and he comes down with it once again. And you guys have seen this entire game, this entire playoffs, this entire season. This Titans team has put it all out on the field, every yard, every play, and it's coming down to this. One minute and the clock is ticking. Second and three. John Moran throws a deep ball. He's wide open, but the defender tips it 
and it is third and three. 55 seconds remaining. John Moran rolling to the left, and he's going to easily pick up a first down and more. And the John Moran chants are starting to circle the arena. It's a scary thought that all we have to do is score and we win the Super Bowl. We're handing it off to Lloyd on the left side. He's going to pick up the first down and more, and he steps out at the one-yard line. And all we have to do is give Lloyd this football, and he is going to score, and we have won the Super Bowl. Well, not technically, because they did have 39 seconds left, but our defense stops him, and we are the Super Bowl champions. John Morant, the 12 overall quarterback, is a Super Bowl champion. Woo! This has been a journey with John Morant, man. Money Man Morant. You won the Super Bowl. Hey, man, hours and hours of footage has gone into this video. If you want to peep one of my other ones, click right here on the screen and also click right here to subscribe. It's been your boy, DD Drift. Peace out.